The team at CodeRabbit asked me to do a little tutorial about their new CLI. We'll do that in a moment. If you're not familiar with CodeRabbit, it is a code review tool. It's a bot that will review your PRs. So it ends up looking like this. You do a pull request and then you actually get a summary even in there and then you get this little walkthrough as to what's going on. It's a really interesting tool, something worth checking out itself. Now beyond that, they just released their CodeRabbit CLI. So let's go ahead and see how we can get this one going. First off, you grab the curl command, you go into your terminal, you bring that thing in. I think right now it pretty much only works for Mac, but I would imagine Windows and Linux is coming soon. So once you have that, you'll have the code rabbit command, which you can do dash dash version on, and you'll see that there is a new version out probably by the time you're doing this, but then you'll go ahead and do code rabbit auth and log in, and you'll connect your account, which after you log in, you'll get this auth token in there as well. So once you have that, then you can use it in a lot of different places. So for example, if you're inside of cursor and you wanna use it in there, you would do your code rabbit and then review, and then you can do dash dash plain to just get it in the CLI itself, and you hit enter, and then there will be a review here. Now I actually hit the rate limit because I've been doing a bunch with it, but the idea is it's a really straightforward process to just get that going. Now, the other side about this is what you can do is you can actually go into Claude code as well. So let's go ahead and jump into Claude code on the command line here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and write out Claude and hit enter. And then I wanna go ahead and say, do a review of the code with this and uh, implement what it recommends. And I hit enter. And what do you know, I hit a five hour limit on here as well. I had no idea that I could hit limits like this, but I was doing a lot. So it kind of makes sense that I was hitting these limits on our off the video, but I did want to show you this because this process is very straightforward. Now to me, this is just another tool in your toolkit to make better code, to release better code on a regular basis. Is AI going to completely remove you from the equation? I don't think so. I think you'll still have to organize things. Sure, you can vibe code a lot, but you know, vibe coding runs into issues all of the time. This is at least a safeguard to help you against that and explain the things that are going on inside of those vibe code checks. And then if you use the right tools, it can just be piped right back in to solve all of the challenges. So I really like it where it's like kind of like agent to agent communicating, but we get to like choose what's going on with all of that. So I'm really interested to see if you end up using CodeRabbit itself and what you think. Please let me know in the comments.